Loot Crate here on Bass Niche of Skin. Today, we are looking at the Thunder Crate for Halo. Halo Legendary. Ooh, is that? It's textured. It's got texture to it. Oh, Bungie. Oh, no, it's not Bungie. 343. Oh, oh, you really are splashing it. Oh, it's, it's got a feel. Oh, that's actually kind of weird. It feels glyphy. It feels like there's actually texture on this. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay, let's get into the inside of this damn thing because it's got plenty of stuff inside. Oh. Okay, obviously, looking at this, um, this is, this is going to need to go for a wee while. We're, we'll leave this for a little second and move on to the next thing. Oh, oh, clothing! Okay, straight out, straight out to the wide. How's it going, guys? It's good to see you again. Welcome back to another episode of Past Teacher Skin. Welcome to another episode of Loot Crate Unboxing. We have so many things to show you. As usual, I'm way behind. I'm playing catch up constantly because it keeps sending out this cool shit. And this one is the Founder Crate for Halo. Um, I honestly, I did, getting this crate is a bit of a jagged pill for me because I love the Halo series up as far as the fourth one. The transition for from Bungie to 343 has not been a pleasant one for me and I jumped ship completely from the Microsoft bandwagon on 360 so I didn't get anything I didn't play 5 at all and 4 was my last kind of like gaming experience on the 360 before I went exclusively to PC and Sony devices and while well, accusing the devil pretty much everything but Microsoft really whenever you think about it um, and not for any particular fanboy reason just because I can't afford to buy all the consoles and there wasn't anything that really appealed to me on the Xbox One system because I'd seen other people who owned ones and I wasn't really getting the vibe. While with the PlayStation, at least I already have my PSN account, my PS Plus, you know, kind of. Even though I, there wasn't anything I really wanted, I was still getting free stuff that I kind of could play at the same time. But less about the console wars, more about the Halo Wars, which was a good game series as well, and RTS on the console. Well, well received and well played. This is a light, thin, oh, it's like a, a textile hoodie. I love these. I have a couple of them now. I have a short sleeve one from Futurama. I have a long sleeve one from... What was it from? I think it might have been Naruto or something else. No, probably was something else, but I've actually... Oh yes, no, it was um, Space Invaders. And I've actually gotten um, gotten used to wearing... I just, I just I never was a hoodie person in the past, but now I just kind of wear them with jackets all the time just in case I need to protect my head. Because this, this is a gentle scalp, as you can see. It's very, very soft, soft and sweet. I mean, at the moment there's hair on it, which is very weird. This, I, in fact, the next video you see of me will probably not have hair on it because this needs to go. I don't like it. I don't like it, not at all. So what we got here, give me meandering. Look at the item. It is Combat Green, Halo hoodie with a Spartan program. Oh yeah, it's a Spartan 4 program listed on the front. The hood is flipping over the top there. It's a nice long sleeve and actually has a drawing down along the sleeve of it as well. Saying fire team, what is the fire team? Good grief! Oh, fire team Apollo. I was going to say it was Alpha, but it was actually Apollo. But yeah, that looks good. It feels like it's a good enough weave. I'm worried about these whenever I wear them because they do get tend to get stretched a bit more because of uh, pulling them off of your head and stuff. But uh, yeah, a zip up hoodie would have been awesome, but this is just as good. I like them. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's going to be quite nice. I think I might have got the sizing right, or did I go overboard? I think it might have gone a little bit overboard, but yeah, with the official Halo branding on it and recognizable, I'll be wearing the hell out of this. Um, especially now it's coming into the autumnal and winter months. So let's go back into the box and see. All right, obviously there's a figure here. Um, I'm more curious about this bit at the bottom. I'm going to lift this out for. A I'm going to go out of order for once, just because I feel like it. Oh, UNSC backpack. Awesome. All right. Well, I always need more bags for carrying gear and bits and pieces. Let's see what the size of this thing is. And out she comes. Is this a kid size backpack? Oh, it's a messenger bag. Just a single kind of like object messenger bag. I think I might actually pack. If I padded this out a wee bit um, with a, a bit of foam, ship foam, that would actually be a pretty key, decent camera bag. I've never been a big fan of these like single strap um, bags because, I, because I'm a big dude. It's kind of hard to get them to sit around my chest comfortably. But yeah, that's actually working. That works for me. UNSC bag. Black and grey, whoa. With multiple pockets, a little bit of Velcro strappage there to the front that I can actually use. Alright, cool. That actually holds a pretty decent amount of stuff. 
that may become my kind of like my day to day go bag rather than actually carrying around a um, like a full record bag. I don't normally have like the record bag across my chest like this. I would actually switch to a messenger bag if, with being styled this way. Works the job. Good for running and transporting and getting yourself around. It's a go bag. That's what it is. So what else we got? We have the ugliest Master Chief I've ever seen in my entire life. What is that from? It is heel branded, but uh, three for three. So that's fucking weird. Like it looks like something that was made by a third party company that just kind of was taking the piss out of Master Chief, but um, yeah, that's a weird dongly toy. Got a decent carboner on it, but um, yeah, I, I think this may be a gift to a friend or a child or to a Halo fan that uh, I particularly dislike. Okay, what else we got in here? We have the Halo Icons Loot Crate screenshots. From what I could see, these are going to appear in every single crate all the way through from the beginning to the end of this run. There's actually already like this, yeah, collect and connect and swap heroes from one to the other. So there's going to be Spartans in War Zones. Um, it's it's going to be the same as my Firefly kind of like pose set, the one with all the characters from Firefly. I'm looking forward to putting these together. I'm probably I'm not going to take this out of the box just yet because um, it's, I, I want to see two of them sitting side by side and then configure them in a way that actually looks pleasing to me. And well, as it is now, all you can do is really do only that same pose that's in the box with the red versus blue just kind of jumping at each other. So um, yeah, I'm assuming that's Sarge in the red because it's actually shotgun. Okay, founder pin for Halo Legendary Crit, uh, Spartan Four Invitation or Initiation. Okay, so I'm assuming there's actually like some kind of branding and theming for this at the moment for the Halo Loot Crate. I'll have to go and look into that, which is probably part of this parcel that's sitting here at the bottom. So I'll take a look at it in a moment. Let's take a look at the manual, because of course this being like essentially an extension of the Loot Gaming Crate, it's going to be themed with um, a manual pack. See back for a rec pack code. Oh right, so you get rec pack codes for um, Halo 5, which is uh, the, the pay to have extra shit. Um, system that they put into Halo 5 that a lot of people got upset about. So what's in the box? Uh, oh, a little bit from Halo Fractures, uh, a novel in, set in the Halo universe. Uh, uh, free expansion for Halo 5 Guardians, concept art, uh, interview with one of the guys from 343, uh, utility satchel, that's exactly what it is. A data drop from UNSC, Fire Team Apollo Insignia Pin, Master Chief Carabiner Push, Hill Icon Spartan Warzone Figure, Spartan 4 Initiation Pullover, and then a little chat with a bunch of Spartan cosplayers. Well, yep, yeah, I'm about to be careful about this because I've actually realized I might push out a red code. In fact, do you know what? Screw it. I don't play Halo 5. Here you go, Internet. Have a red code on me. Enjoy. I hope you actually I think send a message or a comment underneath if you're the one who ends up using the red code just so. You can be polite because I was going to do a giveaway, but there's no point in me going through the hassle of it. As long as I just hold it here, you can still be able to get a read of it. So yeah, enjoy. Best I can do to actually keep everybody happy whenever I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to take a look at this data drop before I actually look into the crate, which is obviously going to be a bunch of printouts and images. Uh, bah, bah, bah. It's a great pleasure to officially induct you to the Spartan 4 United Nations Space Command. Through your training and recommendation, you have displayed intelligence, fortitude, valor, and also whatever you Oh, I'm amazed that I must have passed without even doing anything. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, order to report to UNSC Infinity or on or before 1st of September. No leave or delay is authorized. Contact receiving command in the event of unavoidable delay. Okay. Uh, all fire teams are chopped up con to Spartan Commander. Okay. Fire teams conduct a shipboard training in conjunction with training schedules. So this. I'm assuming this is actually something that they're kind of pushing. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I do like that. A uh, picture of a Spartan. Um, essentially, the, the kind of thing you could put up on... Because uh, I actually have the lights sitting up here. I can actually look at the skeletal structure through the inside. Uh, through, like... The, uh, uh, what do you call that? X-ray images. It's an X-ray image panel. Which looks quite nice. That actually pretty nice. If you had a light box kind of set up and put that on the back of it and put it through and put it on your wall, that would look absolutely amazing. So I think they actually have a event specialized thing for um, people to join a particular group. I'm assuming this is actually all, if you're not, yeah, report immediately. So I need to actually I report in for duty, I imagine. I will probably do that on the Loot Crate page fairly soon. Uh, obviously it was said 1st of September. I didn't receive this crate until the 3rd, so um, I think I may have missed out on the opportunity. But uh, if, they, if they're taking an induction of soldiers at any point, I will probably join in. Uh, even though I don't play the game. 
So yeah, the inside of the crate looks pretty cool. Uh, let's just give this a wee. I think I might actually keep the crate as is with the outside texture on it because I like the look of it. The inside of the crate looks pretty nice, as you can see here. Give you a proper chance to look at it on the big screen. It actually looks like it's actually a spider and a drop ship of some sort. It looks pretty damn cool. I'm assuming that's actually the, uh, the one that's referred to in the materials that come along with this. So yeah, that was the Halo Legendary crate. Um, great experience. Uh, the Founder crate. This is this is solid Halo merchandise. All every single last one of them. They've learned from the mistakes of the previous loot gaming crates, like because people complain about it, including myself. I think they're actually on on day a winner here because they know exactly what they're going to have. At least for two of the items, they're going to have uh, probably a data drop of some sort. They're going to have one of these, and they're going to have one of these. So that's three out of the five items. Pretty much already covered, but they know what they're going to do. And if they end up finding with crap like this, <laughs> the people won't be pleased. But they fill it with stuff like this, then it'll be absolutely fine. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been another episode of Loot Crate Unboxing here on Past Easter Skin. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Make sure to see you on the channel. Make sure to see you in the comments. Make sure to see you in the shares and the subscribes and all those kind of things. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>